In this Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial, we will cover some quick tips in all of Photoshop's file types. Before we get started, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. Hello everyone! In the second tutorial of Photoshop Basics, we will cover some quick tips in all of Photoshop file types. So number one, fast save, number two, image size, and number three, Photoshop file type. Let's start with number one, fast save. If you followed the previous tutorial, you will know that we learned how to uh, do some very basic things in Photoshop from the first time you open it. One of those things was open an image. So you can either go on the button on the right side or go to File, Open. So I'm just going to select on one of these thumbnails which are my previously opened files. So I click on my image and it opened in Photoshop. So another thing we covered in the previous tutorial was how to save an image. So go to File, Save As. And a window will open where you enter the file name and you select the file type. Uh, as an example, I'm going to select a PSD, which is a Photoshop document. Okay, what we didn't cover last time is that after you save it, you can continue working on the same file. So suppose you do some adjustments or uh, anything. For example, I'm going to crop it. Okay. So, uh, I've cropped my image. But now, if I go back to File, Save As, it will save a new file. If I want to save it to the same file, I just go to File, Save. And all the adjustments are saved on the same file. Obviously, you can repeat saving your file as many times as you like. So also, another good thing to know is the save shortcut. So you can just press Control or Command S instead of going to File Save, and it will automatically save your file. Number two, image size. Another thing we covered in our previous tutorial is that if you go on the Create New button and click on it, or if you go to File, Create New, uh, a window will open. And this is where you create your new document. So we went over the options really quick, but what we didn't specifically go over is that there is, there are all of these presets that Photoshop offers us. On the top, you pick uh, what your file is for. If it's for printing, if it's for the web, if it's like an art or an illustration file, uh, a video file, um, something for your mobile, you have all of these options. And then on top of that, if you click on one, you have all of these presets that uh, are available. So for example, if you go in the print option, you can find an, A3, uh, an A3, an A4, an A5, which are um, universal printing sizes. So instead of having to fill in all of the options manually, you just select on one of these and it's all ready to go. You just press on uh, create and you can start working on your project. Number three, Photoshop file types. When you go to file, save as, as we said, you enter the file name, but you also choose the file type. So uh, let's go quickly over every single file type that Photoshop offers us. Okay, so I'm gonna enter a file name and then click on the drop-down menu. As you can see, there's all these different file types. 
let's take a close up. There's the PSD, there's JPEG, there's PNG, TIFF. So there's all these commonly known file types, but then there's also other file types that are uh, less known. So let's go over them. Choosing a file format. Before we go over all the different file types, I would like to give you a quick tip when saving in Photoshop. You should always remember to save your working Photoshop file as a PSD file to use as your master copy. It will preserve all of your layers, channels, and so on in Photoshop's native file format, allowing you to return to your work at any time. From there, you can save a copy of your image in one of the other formats, depending on where your image is headed. Let's start with PSD, Photoshop Document. To preserve all of Photoshop features, as we said, it's good to save your image in PSD format. Like most file formats though, PSD supports files up to 2 gigabytes in size. So any file bigger than that, you should save in PSV, which is Photoshop Large Document. Saving files larger than 2 gigabytes. Other formats that support files larger than 2 gigabytes are TIFF, which supports files up to 4 gigabytes in size. It has a lossless compression that allows saving photos with the highest possible image quality, capable of storing all of the layers and other elements you've added in Photoshop. Then we have Photoshop RAW. This format can be of any pixel or file size, but it cannot contain layers. A Photoshop RAW image is not in the same file format as a camera RAW image file from a digital camera. Then we have the DICOM format, commonly used for the transfer and storage of medical images, such as ultrasounds and scans. DICOM files contain both image data and headers, which store information about the patient and the medical image. Let's cover some common file types. Let's start with JPEG. JPEG is the most commonly used file type for images. It does not support transparency and it is considered a lossy file format because it compresses file size by selectively discarding data. Then we have the GIF format. It does support transparency, however, it only supports one level of transparency, meaning that a pixel is either transparent or it's not. All major web browsers support GIF files. Their small file sizes load quickly on the screen. PNG. This format supports transparency and is also a better choice for high quality transparency effects. It is a lossless file format. Even though it compresses images to reduce file size, the compression method it uses does not result into a loss of image quality. EPS format. EPS files can contain both vector and bitmap graphics and it is supported by virtually all graphics, illustration, and page layout programs. PDF. It is a great choice for saving images destined for print, and like PSD and TIFF formats, PDF supports and preserves all of Photoshop's layers and features. Now let's cover all the other file types that we haven't mentioned so far. BMP or bitmap image file. A BMP file is an uncompressed raster image. It contains a file header and bitmap pixels. IF format. It is a general purpose data storage format that can associate and store multiple types of data. IF is portable and has extensions that support still pictures, sound, music, video, and textual data. Pixar. This format is designed especially for high-end graphics applications, such as those used for rendering three-dimensional images in animations. PBM. These files are text-based black and white image files. You can even edit or create such files within a simple text editor. Cytex CT. 
This format is designed especially for use on Cytex graphics processing equipment. PCX PCX was one of the first bitmap image formats used in the Windows operating system. Newer image formats like PNG have basically replaced this format. MPO format This file format is known as a multi-picture object file. It's popular with digital cameras for storing stereoscopic images. These image files contain multiple JPEG images taken from different angles, resulting in a 3D image. KGA, also known as Targa format, was the first family of video cards for IBM compatible PCs that supported true color display. This file can be raw and uncompressed, or it can utilize a lossless compression. We are finished going through all of Photoshop saving file types. I hope this tutorial was useful. Stay tuned for more videos. In the next tutorial, we will cover Adobe Photoshop CC image size and resolution.